Kelly Foran, welcome to Northwest Tonight. Our top story in its network. After a government report said it had provided customers with an unacceptable service following Storm Arwen, where thousands were left without power for days in appalling weather conditions. Here's our environment correspondent, Judy Hobson. It was the worst storm the country had full method. It means that patients could be sent home on the same day as their treatment, as Andy Gill reports. Thank you, Ian. Well, you can listen to the music on your drive home, can't you? <laughs> and it's all happening tonight. We've got the Stones in Liverpool, Ed Sheeran's in Manchester. For all these concert goers, Kay, are they going to be... We don't want any rain. No. <laughs> no rain. I've sorted it out. I've sorted it all out. Oh, no good. panic. Because <laughs> we have had some rain around today, but the good news is, if you are heading to the concerts or just out and about tonight, it will be dry. A couple of weather watcher pictures for you. Look at Sunshine Girls, gorgeous dog. I know, I couldn't resist, could I? In uh, Lancashire, enjoying the sunshine today. But we have had a fair bit of grey cloud, some outbreaks of rain as well. And Heather captured this picture really nicely uh, in Ashley in Cheshire earlier on today. So thank you for sending those in. Like I said, the good news is improving. Dry across all parts through this evening and it remains dry as we go overnight tonight. The thing that we'll start to notice if you are out late or early doors is the breeze starts to pick up. So it will be a breezier night, still mild, temperatures around 11, 12, 13 degrees. So it will be a breezy start to your day tomorrow. Now it's the final day of TT races in the Isle of Man and the good news is here for most of the day, dry and fine, good spells of sunshine, the risk of one or two showers later in the day. And that's a very similar story right across the board with most of us seeing dry and fine weather, but really quite strong and gusty winds. A southwesterly, so warm air, we're gonna get to about 21 degrees tomorrow, but quite a strong breeze and then notice the gusts we are going to be gusting up to 30 40 miles per hour particularly along the coast and the reason for that is this area of low pressure this is actually an ex-tropical storm and it's just going to increase our winds through tomorrow and into the weekend as well for saturday a bright and breezy day now we are going to see some decent spells of sunshine it's still going to be quite windy particularly gusty along the coast but the risk of showers at times could merge into longer spells of rain Better conditions to come through on Sunday. Temperatures taking a little bit of a dip, so a little bit below average for the time of year. But on the whole, a good deal of dry weather. Still breezy, though, so we will have a westerly breeze. Temperatures, like I said, around about 16 degrees. The risk of the odd isolated shower, but on the whole, it's not looking too bad. And if you are heading out tonight, then enjoy it. It's going to be amazing. Yeah, absolutely. And you mentioned the Isle of Man TT there. It's the last day tomorrow. Yeah. It's actually a random Isle of Man fact. A bank holiday over there tomorrow. Oh, yeah. what is it? So it's an extra one the, that we get. You used to live in the Isle of Man. I know, Man. so I had an extra day off. Oh, <laughs> We're back out. at 10.30. <laughs> See you then. Take care. <laughs>